Here we have the new 2025 Cadillac XT4. This one comes in the sport trim level. This color is argent silver metallic, and then we have jet black with blue accent leather interior. For the powertrain, we get a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. That's made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. And no big changes from the 24 model, where it got a nice redesign. But to the front end here, we do get our LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And I love the sport just because you get that black mesh grill there, top and bottom, not seeing any hard plastic exposed. So very impressed by just the overall body lines here. As we come around to the wheels, these are 18 inch alloy wheels. I like that design, prefer the bigger 20s, but not bad. Passive keyless entry is on all four doors. We get our power door locks, memory seat functions, and then our power windows and mirrors. We can power fold those mirrors. They do have blind spot monitors. And then we have one touch automatic up and down windows for the front, express down for the back. Power lift gate control. We get a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And there's our power driver's seat. We also have massage function. But a big thank you to Cadillac of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this car today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you're looking to find the best price on an XC4 in your area, go ahead and fill out that link down below. It takes a minute to fill out the information and I'll make sure your local dealers are fighting to get you that best price. But 49,190 is the sticker price here. And then 24 miles per gallon city, 29 highway is the estimated fuel economy. But I have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So can't quite fit all the way back here. I could probably adjust the seat a little bit, but XT5 has room for me when I adjust that, but not terrible back here. Rear AC vents, three-stage heated outboard seats, and a USB-C, USB-A charge port. Middle seat folds down, bottle holders are there. This one does have the, have the panoramic sunroof, so that's with the sunshade. But let's go ahead and make our way towards the rear of the vehicle. Love the tail lamps on the Sport, especially nice look dual exhaust look underneath the vehicle let's go ahead and pop the lift gate and then top tethers are on the back seat and we have an inflator kit here but you do have room for a spare if you want to fit that in there which is nice Catless fuel fill there, premiums recommended. And then the seat will fold flat. You can run longer objects through to the front. Snaps back to place pretty easily. Here's our power front passenger seat. We do get the massage function here as well as that four-way power lumbar support, which is nice. And then over here, we have the side pocket lockable glove compartment and then as we come back around to the front we're just going to take a quick look in the engine bay there's that two liter turbocharged four cylinder now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat Leather wrap steering wheel here. There's the horn sound. Now over here to the screen, we do get Google Assistant, Google Maps, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. And then we have our AM, FM, XM radio along with Google News and Google Podcasts there. Go into your settings here. You have team driver, rear seat reminder, buckle to drive and then go to your system settings here. You can change your language, units of measurement, all of that. The backup cameras there, guidelines, follow you as you turn the steering wheel. You also get that bird's eye view or top down view, which is pretty nice. And then there's your front camera as well. <clears throat> and then your curbside view too. 
You can also go through all of your vehicle status features here, which is pretty nice. You can check on the oil life or the tire pressure or anything like that. So I like being able to look at all of that. So tons of stuff that you can actually see in real time. And then we do get dual zone automatic climate controls. We can either use the screen here or buttons down here below along with those three stage heated cooled front seats, lane keeping systems there, hazards are there. And then down here you get a USB-C, USB-A port and a 12 volt you can stow all that away. To put it into gear, hit this button, pull down for drive, tap for manual, push up for neutral, hit the button, pull all the way up for reverse, press P for park. And then you can use this knob if you don't wanna use a touch screen, which is kind of neat how you're able to use it. Just scrolling through. And then volume knobs here, you can click there to mute. And then all of your other shortcuts are pretty self-explanatory. The vehicle information there, navigation, home button, back button. And then we have our traction control drive modes, which we have several. Snow and ice, sport, tour. Auto stop toggles there. And then we have a wireless charging pad, center console cubby space, another 12 volt, and then removable tray. And I like how the tray is made. We do get a rear camera mirror here. We can turn that on or off. Sunroof controls are here. Sunglasses holder, universal home remote. That's what your lights look like. And that's what the roof cover retracted. And I can one touch slide it back. And then you hit it a second time, it'll pretty much go all the way back. So that's a pretty big opening. And there's a look at the back seat from up here. Now back to the steering wheel. Well, actually, let me show the vanity mirror because there's that. And actually over here, we can go through our gauge cluster functions here. So I can show what I want the screen to look like. And then I can even fool with a heads up display. Brightness, height, rotation. And you can see it right there in the middle. But blinkers are here, high beams, flash, and then you have your auto high, auto high beams. Do that by hitting that button on the side. And then over here we have our automatic wipers. So one time off, auto low high. We can adjust that automatic wiper sensitivity there. And then our rear wipers here. And then we just push back for the rear wiper fluid, pull up for the front. Paddle shifters are behind. Cruise control, we can turn that on or off, cancel, set the speed, gap adjust for the adaptive cruise there, heated steering wheel toggle, voice recognition, I'm, I'm sorry, voice recognition's here, mute button's here, volume down, up, and then we can go through the track list or radio station favorites. And then the scroll bar, we can use that when applicable, and then a blue uh, audio button here, excuse me, and then a Bluetooth phone button there. Push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And next, let's go ahead and take this 2025 Cadillac XT4 Sport out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this XT4, I love having the two liter turbo four pair with the nine speed. Just get you that great feeling of acceleration, but also allowing you to get pretty good fuel economy on top of that. Now with this one being front wheel drive, it does tend to pull from the front pretty well. And again, with the turbo charger, you just get that initial oomph if you give it anything more than a, a light tap. But I'm gonna put it in the sport mode and give it a, a good pull here. All right, here we go. So it was not flooring it at all. 
but I kind of had my foot in it. With this car only having seven miles, I definitely didn't want to thrash it, but got up to speed very nicely. And in sport mode, it does want to, you know, keep the the shifts higher, keep the, the revs higher, I should say, as opposed to in tour mode. So doing that same pull in tour mode, I wouldn't have gotten as high up in the RPMs, but I'm gonna put it back into the tour mode now. Of course, ride quality is stellar. Road noise, not noticeable. Wind noise, not noticeable. But what's crazy is you get a car that performs like this does and you're getting 29 miles per gallon on the highway. But everything from the massage seats here, the leather wrap steering wheel, the shifter, everything feels very luxurious for this to be one of the smallest Cadillacs that you can get in an SUV. It might actually be the smallest now. Now I will say the cooled seat function or ventilated seat, whatever you want to call it, on the second and third level, it can be a bit loud with no music on, but on the lowest level, it still gets the job done and you can just barely hear it. But I mean, for the money, almost $50,000, it's not cheap, but this does have a lot. You get the panoramic roof, you get the adaptive cruise, you get the heated cool seats, the heated seats for the back, the heads up display. You're not really missing anything going with how this one is equipped. Only other thing that would be nice would be Super Cruise, but honestly, having the adaptive cruise in, in something that's this small, easy to maneuver, not necessarily, you know, tripping on that, but in the Hummer EVs, your Sierra Denali Ultimates, even the, the Traverses and the, the XT6s, those bigger vehicles, it just helps having that Super Cruise. But I wanna give one more thank you to Cadillac of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this XT4 today. And if you're looking to find the best price on one of these in your area, just make sure you click on that second link down below. It takes a minute to fill out that information. I'll make sure your local dealers are fighting to get you the best price on any new vehicle. But it's just, it's relaxing driving this. It's easy. It can be fun, especially in sport mode. And it kind of reminds me of the CT4 with the space in the back. Up here is great. The seat's wide enough for my wider stature. Headroom, even with the panoramic roof, is decent. And I just have a good amount of space here for my longer legs in the driver's seat. And I mean, you can go to an XT5 or even an XT6, get more space, but if it's mostly just you, maybe you have people that aren't six feet tall, especially your kids that'll be in the back, this is a good way to travel and commute. But with all this being said, here's the end of my review of the 2025 Cadillac XT4 in the sport trim level.